Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka, International Nail Artisan Educator here and today I have prepared a little bit more advanced design for you. Um, but even if you're beginners, let's give it a try. I will try to really explain it step by step how to do this look. Uh, but have a look what we are going to do. Yeah, it is a cute Disney set with the Bambi. I think it's just so kind of colors uh, which are fitting in perfectly with the autumn time. And uh, I really wanted to show you how to paint this look. I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Also, if you're new in here, don't forget to subscribe as there is lots of tutorials coming up every Mondays, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Let's start! So you can see this cute Disney Bambi, um, which we have painted uh, today and I will show you how to do a beautiful set of the nails with this theme. I think it's perfect for autumn time as well. It's a little bit more advanced art, so uh, yeah, I will just show you how to do it. So basically I've got the pencil in here and my tip is buff. If you buff it well and uh, then you use the pencil, it's just much easier uh, to do this stuff. So. I'm just going to kind of imagine where his face is going to be. Uh, it has to go down the way a little bit, otherwise we wouldn't be able to uh, squeeze it. And then first thing which I'm going to start painting is the eye. Okay, so I'm just painting the inside of the eye and then above there is a part which is going to be brown, then the part which is going to be white. Don't press it too strong with the pencil. It is just the outline, so it helps you uh, decide where to put the colors. And then the patch. Okay, so I'm trying to paint it really gentle with the pencil. And the good stuff about the pencil is if something doesn't work out, you can just easily um, take it off, like using the rubber. Okay, after this part, I'm going to start shaping his head and the part where the nose is, the neck, and then one ear just behind and another ear in here. He's going to have cute nose in here and the mouth. So this way I have uh, shaped it, the basic features of the Bambi. And now I can start preparing the, um, the colors for it. So I've got some Color Plus gels in here and I need a drop of white. So drop of white. Drop of red, yellow, blue. And black. So for painting, I really quite like to use the, uh, those kind of uh, Color Plus gels because they give me a really nice uh, coverage. And what I'm doing here now is I'm mixing some nice brown colors. So I've got yellow, orange, uh, yellow and red, which creates orange. And then I'm adding a drop of black to create my brown. And this way I have created some brown. I'm just going to add a drop more of the yellow. Okay. 
And now if I want to lighten any of my brown, I need to use some white into it. Okay, so this way we are getting a different shades of brown. The more orangey one. And then the one which is a little bit lighter. And then mixing it so you've got all different uh, shades uh, of the browns. Cool. Once you have done all your mixing, I'm going to use the watercolor uh, brush from the Nil Perfect. It's a slightly larger brush for the Nil Art. And now we are going to start painting the Bambi face. <laughs> so I've got those orangey color. Let's make it even brownier. That's a perfect shade now. I love Color Plus because you can create absolutely any color with it. And what we are going to do is start painting some part of the neck. Then his face. And when you pencil it, it's much easier to paint it if you don't. Like even if it's not perfect, the um, the pencil outlines you kind of coloring it in so that's that's the way like which is the quickest way of painting those kind of more advanced designs so for first layer is kind of flat we will add some highlights and the shadows after it as well Yes, we have uh, painted the main color of his face and straight away I'm going to swap it for the darker one which is on the top. I'm just creating the perfect shade. And then coloring the top part. His ear.
think this ear is a little bit twisted. And then we are going to give it a cure. Okay, so we've got the basic colors applied in. Kick it. In the meantime, we can start doing uh, the other nails. So on the pinky, I'm going to go almost naked. And I feel like this color is going with it. There is also an amazing one as well. And it's a shame I actually didn't have it in with me. It's called Coffee Latte. It's like a really beautiful nude, uh, but I just didn't have it with me right now. So I'm using this one instead. But you have to guys check it, this color, like it's amazing. The Coffee Latte one. I can't remember the number, uh, which is a shame as well. It's a high number, definitely, like, um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then painting this one as well. So each time when I'm curing the Bambi, I will be doing some other nails as well. So Bambi, where are you? Here you are. Okay, so clean my brush and now we are going to use the slider color. I want maybe more yellow. Need a drop of yellow in there. Actually, my colors start curing in there. And the reason for it is we record where the window, um, when the window is, so the sunshine catch it very quick. But anyway, painting the neck and now it's actually really nice because we have created some sort of shadow underneath of the neck and now we are going to paint it where the eye is And where is his nose? <clears throat> also the next layer of the ear and then cure it okay then once is cure Take it out and we move on into the next step. So I'm going to start working on the top of his head. And there are some parts which are going to be lighter and some parts which are going to be darker. So where the ear is here, we want to put those shadow. 
and we want the shadow on this ear here as well. Now I also know that I should really enlarge this part as well. I'm going to also drop a shadow where his neck is. For shadowing, I suggest you have a drop of the top coat. So drop of the top coat, and then you've got hardly any product on your brush and you can easily shadow. I can start also painting inside the eye as well. So we're going for some brown into reddish color. In there. Now I have cleaned my brush because I want to correct this part. You can also start shaping better shape in here. And then give it a cook again. Quickly done pinky. With the second layer. Then let's go to Bambi again. So same pink. We are going to place inside the ear here. It starts looking like Bambi. I'm going to also add his smile. in the nose. Inside the eye.
and then give it a flash cure again. Okay, pinky is ready, so we are just going to put the top coat over it. Oh, maybe not ready. No, ready. Make it ready. Don't overdo it. And the Bambi itself is quite advanced, so I don't want to definitely overdo it. And then cook it. <coughs> Let's go back to Bambi. Our next step is to add a tiny bit more shadows and the part where the eye is, the eyelashes. So start where you've got your black. And now I'm going to swap for a smaller brush. That's our new brush, which is going to be available. And I love it for the toilet work. And this is the eyelid. I'm going to give it a flash cure again. When you're working on the biggest detail, I suggest you kind of really um, do a little bit and then flash cure it just so when you do the mistake you can easily know how to uh, wipe it off and you can fix it now on this one this is a index finger we are going to do a sugar so i have just applied one layer of this color because that's plenty sugar will cover any imperfections and then top coat and then sprinkle it with the sugar And I love the fact that sugar looks uh, slightly different on any color. So depending on the color you use, you get a different results. And then cook it. Okay, the last bits and pieces probably on the Bambi. So we need to color his eyelid as well. And I'm going to use this color here. And then we also have to outline the black where his eye is. So again, I'm starting where is the thickest. Because first of all, like you've got the control uh, over the pressure, you know how strong you are going to, to go. Okay, so that's the thickest part and then I'm going thinner. And then I've got no product on my brush, like hardly any product on my brush. I can even clean it because it still stains. Okay, same here where the mouth are. Hardly any product on my brush. Like it looks like a brush is clear, it doesn't have any product.
I'm going to just add the drop more red. With the reds, you have to be careful, like reds and blacks are really mm, strong colors. I just want to add kind of a little bit more dimension to his smile, just so it's not flat. I don't like to use the flat colors. And then flash cure it again. Okay, after a splash cure, the next detail. So just around the eye. I'm just making it a little bit kind of pointy. And then use the white. To highlight it a little bit actually I'm going to add more black first okay we can also add some more shadowing on his face so I've got top coat here Like this part is going to be darker. Drop more top coat and now going for a lighter. So I, what I did, I dip it in my brush into the white top coat and those kind of orangey color because I want to highlight this place. Just so it's slightly lighter. They aren't big things like, um, but they do make a difference. Okay, we need to also add some black detail on his ear. This one is just a little bit visible. And then clean my brush. And now I can straight away see I'm missing some orangey color here.
he blended everything he's almost finished actually give it a quick cook i'm just going to add this color of the nose with the black to outline it a little bit and then cook it okay let's see the nails which we've got ready so that's the pinky which is just a plain plain color oh the color i was talking about is 187 is it 100 187 and it's called light latte not a coffee latte <laughs> the cameraman just check it uh, i like the combination of those colors together and then the sugar so i'm just going to remove the excess of it the sugar meal is going to be here that's so pretty i love the sugar i should do it on the pinky as well now okay let's uh, hurry up with this uh, bambi obviously like the longer time we take with some designs the prettier it is so uh, this isn't anything like over the top now i want to put some sparkle on his eye the sparkles always change the eye and then some black outline those little things change a lot and some highlights on the nose that's too much and so some highlights on the nose and maybe give him some kind of fury bits and pieces on the top so again i've got this lighter color shadow where the ear is French yeah I'm not going to do much more in there A bit of fur in here. And a bigger shadow. And then that's our Bambi finished. Is he finished? Yeah, he can be finished. Um, so I'm just going to cook him quickly. Put a couple of gems on this nail. So for the gems, we are going to use the base gel. Where are you? So base gel, not over the top, like gem wise. Um, just a really couple. So I've got some bits and pieces here. Oh yes, that's actually quite nice. Thank you, cameraman. Oh yes. <laughs> so I got some nice gems from cameraman and we definitely gonna use them. They are so pretty. They are really pretty. Oh, I got too excited. So pick up the base gel. And what I want, I want all of them.
that really looks pretty already. Flash cure it. Now we want to add a drop of the background. I don't want to go too strong with it. Uh, so I've just got a top coat mixed with the drop of blue and a white, like hardly any, any color in there. Just, so it's not that pure white, you know? Just to kind of give it some sort of going on stuff on the background. <laughs> Cook it and then we can top coat him. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I get too excited. Actually, that was a good choice on the gems, like really good choice on the gems. Because they saw pretty colors. To be honest, I never know what I want to do with the gems until I start playing with them. <laughs> and then... I should do some caviar beads, but they're really time consuming. And that's having pretty long video, like caviar beads here and here. I have to do it. Sorry, cameraman. <laughs> the rose gold ones. Yes, exactly the ones. You like them, don't you? Yeah, better. Very much. <laughs> okay, so for caviar beads, we are going to use the base gel. But I had to, like, I mean... They are just screaming, place me there. So for caviar beads, I usually use like an old brush. Basically, the newer the brush, the better um, it is. This one is really wrecked. But it's also depending on the luck. Um, don't say anything yet because it's not finished the rota but uh, I wanted to say this one went really nice and smooth like and quick I would say one more yeah that was really smooth okay cook it <laughs> Apply the top coat on our Bambi. Guys, if you did really learn something from this video and if you did really enjoy it, please hit the share button for me. Um, so the channel can grow and it can give me a bit more like excitement and uh, happiness when I check, check the statistic as well. Uh, especially for the videos where I'm taking a really time to, to produce them and to show you something different. So that's the Bambi cooking here now other side and then quickly those caviar beads hope they go smooth as well we will see in a minute So spread them. Check if they are even. It looks like I've got a good caviar bit day today. Caviar bit day. Don't 
totally it's a cover beats day i mean don't 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 wait till you finish <laughs> yeah see wait till you finish okay one more i'm leaving this one more yay and then one more They are so pretty. Those beads. Yay! Yay! Okay, quickly cook it before they break. And then apply the top coat and I can show you those full beautiful set which we have created today. Thank you so much for all of you who stay with me till this point. Um, let me know what you think of those kind of advanced nail art because I don't want to overdo the stuff like I don't want to keep you guys like too I don't know things too complicated but at the same time I just don't want to do all the time only easy kind of sets so uh, I would really appreciate your feedback on what I have been waiting a little bit too long with this caviar bits see should just put them straight away and anyway just top coat the men I put the top coat over caviar bits but I don't put the top coat over the gems the bambi is ready so we can stick him in here. And then a couple seconds longer for the uh, gem nail here and then you will be able to see this full set. So it's not like over the top, uh, but I have, I have quite enjoyed painting it definitely. Hope you guys do as well. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe. So there is lots of tutorials up in here yeah and this one with the gems must have it so yeah that's a nice combination yeah sending you lots of glittery hugs and bye for now